Yo guys, what's going on? It's Psycho from Psycho Sibs Gaming, and today we're taking a look at another class guide for Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. We're actually going to do another one of these crazy class guides where we try to buff up an ability to the max and then hop into the game and use that ability like non-stop. So today we're actually going to be looking at 80s action hero. We're going to be stacking him with can't missile upgrades to try and buff up this can't missile into a missile madness monster machine. Alright, so if you guys do like this style of video, then make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Plants vs. Zombies content. With that, let's head in and see what upgrades we need for this class. Alright guys, so for today's class guide, we are going to go all in on 80s Action Hero on one specific ability, and that is the Can't Missile. So, a lot of people, you know, obviously the Rocket Ride is the go-to. Everyone just loves to spam that Rocket Ride, but this Can't Missile is pretty darn good. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on the two upgrades that improve the Can't Missile. First one here is Improved Tracking, so it actually gives you tags on the enemy by dealing damage with the Can't Missile. And it refreshes it faster by dealing damage with it. So then you can tag people and shoot the tags better. It's, it's a lot of words. And it, this thing should definitely buff our camp missile pretty good here. And then the other one is actually a four slot upgrade called Super Payload. Which allows you to fire additional missiles with the camp missile. Which means that this thing's just going to be absolutely blasting out rockets. So today we're going to hop into a few matches. Uh, we're going to see whether, you know, if we buff our camp missile up with all these upgrades, is this going to turn into the most overpowered ability of all time. So without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay. Camp missile a lot, but I suppose if, I, if I'm able to land a full tag. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. All right, that was kind of depressing. And there's two more guys on me. They all spawn in my corner. Okay, so that actually melted. That did a lot of damage on that big dude. I guess it's just a matter of whether or not you can land every single bullet. Because that was pretty high quality right there. See, now that did not. That barely did anything. You shoot at him without a tag, it just pff, does nothing. That landed. That's gonna hit the wall. N not a single one of those land on the peace shooter? Oh. Didn't think that would kill, but you know, we take those. Oh, there's one. Oh. Well. Uh. That was kinda wasted. That's okay. That said, it did that did that said it did like a hundred damage. It did not do near a hundred damage. So I don't quite understand. You're gonna tell me it does a hundred damage, and then you're gonna say actually psych doesn't do a hundred damage. Like what's the deal? I feel like someone is. I feel like someone is lying to me. That's gonna land. Yeah, let's go. If we can get one of these off, hit him in the air. That it completely missed him. And I had tags on him. Oh, he's gonna burn. He did. Who? I got him. I'm gonna take that as a yes. I think it's, it's just one cactus. Oh, there's a... Goodbye, Colonel Corn. Yep, that's gonna kill. Alright, so not too bad. So, I, I think the one problem is, um, I wish you could move slightly. You know, I wish you could move slightly with the camp missile because it, it really locks you in place. Um, kind of like the same issue I have with Sunbeam, but much less so, obviously. Oh, try to get those mid-air snipes. Did not, did not get mid-air snipes, but, you know, we try and hit those for the clips. Oh, 
that swung around. Get him out of here. Another, another little dude over here somewhere. There we go. Easy pop it and lock it. Vanquish streak times 10. Give it in monies. Actually, how are we on a 10 vanquish streak? I didn't. I was barely even paying attention. Are we going oak mode? Sick oak mode. Let's go, baby. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Did that not kill? Nope. Oh! Needed, oh man, I needed that finish. He running. Lord, he running. Get out of here, cactus. Okay, so we're... Oh! We can just barely dodge that. Let's see if we can just kind of slide in here. That should land some hits, right? Right? Fake. Oh, I, I feel like that one should have landed. At least we got that guy. R.I.P. our vanquish streak. I see, you know, those rockets, they curve right around the corner and they just narrowly miss them. You know, if you're going to track them all the way 90 degrees around the corner, like, you might as well land the shot, right? Like, you got to put in all the effort rockets to go all the way 90 degrees around the corner and then you're just going to give up at the last second? There we go. Nope. Got the assist, but rockets didn't hit. And there we go. Vanquish Master, baby. We take those. What did we drop? 17, not bad. 13, Vanquish Streak with that loadout. Not too shabby. All right, guys. So now it is my time to rank this loadout. So we've got our two can't miss out upgrades here. I want to rank it out of a 10. And honestly, here's the deal. I do think that you should definitely be using the can't missile with 80s if you have it. So I, I see a lot of people who don't use it. They kind of just stick with the primary weapon and the rocket ride. They don't utilize can't missile. It's great for plowing down gigantic enemies because where 80s action hero is the best is against these small HP enemies. You know, enemies like Nightcap, enemies like Sunflower, characters like that that just kind of bounce around all over the place. You can pop them out in one and two snipes with your primary weapon charged up. And that's the end of the story. But where AD struggles is against those really high HP enemies like the Oak, you know, and like the Snapdragon and the Chomper and stuff like that. But that's where the Camp Missile comes in because if you manage to get a tag or two on those big health enemies, then you can really just absolutely bulldoze through their health with that Camp Missile. So now as far as my ranking of this class, so I thought it was okay. Um, I think there's definitely... You definitely need to replace one of the missile upgrades with something that can help you get tagged. So, if I want to be quite honest, I would probably take off... Oh, and I've, I've already done this in planning <laughs> this part. In all honesty, I would probably remove the improved tracking upgrade and replace it with critical tag, okay? This would allow you to tag more enemies and then once they're tagged then you could use a super payload here which is a four slot upgrade and bull bulldoze them over with the can missile but that's we didn't use that today today i'm ranking the loadout with improved tracking and super payload and with those two you know i think i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give this one a five out of ten this one's pretty right there in the middle like you can definitely tell it improves the can't missile a bit but without those tags it's a little bit of a struggle to use. So I'm going to recommend if you want to try out and use a super great can't miss out build, you try throwing on critical tag instead. Critical tag, super payload, give that one a try for yourself. I might have to try it out later. I might have to try it out later. But anyways, guys, that is going to end today's class guide video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe for more Battle for Neighborhood content. And if you have a character with a specific ability or a set of upgrades that you want me to test out and review, Drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Game on, gamers.